If you are around Houston, Texas and are looking for a fun day trip for the family, definitely consider Lagoon Fest, Texas in Lagomar, Texas City. In this video, I will cover everything that you need to know before going to Lagoon Fest. Do you hear from the mom life where I talk about anything and everything motherhood and family travel. The Lagomar Crystal Clear Lagoon is 12 acres and is considered the largest in Texas and the first to offer public access. It has white sand and beautiful turquoise water. The lagoon is 10 feet deep in the watercraft and activities area, while swimming zones vary between 3 to 4 feet. It is about half an hour drive from Houston and about the same drive time from the lagoon to Galveston Beach. Tickets for the venue can be purchased online or at the gate, but I highly recommend purchasing online especially if you are planning to rent a cabana and do water activities as it tends to sold out fast. If you'll purchase tickets online, you will register each guest in your group to an RFID wristband by providing their name during checkout. Wristbands will be provided at the main entrance gate upon check-in. You can either preload your wristband with a credit amount or link a credit card to your wristband to be used for on-site transactions. All on-site purchases including food, beverage, and retail will be administered through your RFID wristband. Credit cards and cash will not be accepted. Currently, general admission tickets are $25 per adult and $20 for kids 2 to 12 years old. Sitting, activities, food, and beverages are not included in the price. There is ample parking on site and staff are available outside to assist guests. There are five coves in Lagoon Fest, Texas. The peninsula, which is the main swimming area and where you can find the food court, the party deck, bar, retail, and event area. Their food court sells a variety of food and beverage, including cocktails. I highly recommend trying the Texas City Nachos. Keep in mind that outside food and drinks are not allowed inside the venue. The Peninsula Cove is also where the live entertainment is located. Lagoon Fest hosts concerts and parties on weekends, which starts around 7 o'clock in the evening. The Sandy Cove, which is on the right side of the peninsula, is where you'll find the bumper boats, inflatable course called the Aqua Park, and the Titan Slide, which has a 42 feet high drop. Price for these activities ranges from $15 to $50. There is also a height requirement for each activity. The Island Cove is located in the middle of the venue, and like its name, it's an island with cabanas and loungers. The Sea Breeze Cove is where you'll find the watercraft activities like the stand-up paddle boards, kayaks, sailboats, and manta e-boards. The last one is the Paradise Shore Cove. It is located across the Sea Breeze Cove and can be accessed by riding the Duffy Boat. It is a private, secluded, and tranquil area with limited capacity. Extra fees apply to get an access to this cove. Now let's talk about sitting. Private cabanas, which are shaded space, are good for up to six guests and is located directly on the beach. It also includes lounge furniture and two water-resistant beach loungers that can be rented for $300 a day. This is what we got and I highly recommend it if you have kids with you. A pair of beach loungers with umbrella can be rented for $65 a day. A rooftop party deck is also available to rent which is perfect for occasions. It overlooks the park grounds and hosts stunning views of the lagoon. These decks can be rented starting at $450 a day. Okay, so let me give you a little information on the Paradise Shore Cove in case you are interested to pay extra to access this. Paradise Shore is recommended for guests seeking a relaxing, quieter, less crowded and tranquil experience. It has a private bar serving specialty food and beverage, private entry through the clubhouse, a private parking lot and valet parking, and like the mainland, private cabanas and beach loungers are also available here for rent with an addition of floating cabanas, which are 500 a day, sofa loungers, which is 150 a day, and party pavilions, which can be rented for 275 a day. Lagoon Fest Texas does not have accommodations, so if you are planning on staying overnight, they have hotels nearby like Spring Hill Suites by Marriott, which is their preferred partner, and about 1.6 miles away. 
The Holiday Inn Express is also close by and about 4.1 miles away. Overall, this is one of the best spots to go to for a summer day trip with a family. I love the beach vibe and tons of water activities. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more family travel videos.